Okay, where do we begin? Quick look through. Okay. I'm really nervous. Okay. Let's talk about the drama. So I'm gonna read them to you. Okay. Is it rolling? <laughs> this is tea. Okay, so. When we got here, we kind of did a little pre-die games, not with our partners, just warming up before the tournament. I lost. So no! that's something that I've been having to work through personally. I lost so bad. What'd you say? Whose drinks are those? It's fucking embarrassing for whoever doesn't fucking drink those. When I lost that game of die, I didn't finish my beer at the table. And I was told by Alex I'm a little bitch. I'm a little bitch who doesn't finish their drink. First of all, relax. Second of all, I'll finish it later. What's going on, you guys? <laughs> this is Coastal Grandmother. <laughs> we got a couple zebra shorties out here. Yeah, everyone keeps telling me that I look like a zebra with Rosie, which is weird because I packed first. It's just hard because like, I don't mind being a zebra with Rosie, but if we're gonna say someone did it first, then it's me. I was set up for failure. Haley, how are we matching? What are we wearing? And I say, this is what I'm wearing. I show up, I'm matching with Carrie. Haley goes, I have that same sweatshirt. Like, mentioned it earlier, am I right? A couple of people flipped today, didn't they? Yeah. No, I heard a couple of people flip. <laughs> Tyler and I are riding. I'm ripping him. He's like, oh, we're going down. Start tipping sideways on the jet ski. I'm like, ah! I flipped in the ocean one time. So ever since then, I've been so scared of flipping on a jet ski. He had the key, so it unplugged it. It wasn't like Dan and Doe. <clears throat> it's funny about my boyfriend is that he likes to make me reach my breaking point without actually reaching my breaking point. And so he flipped me on the jet ski two times. They didn't have the key, so it was like spinning in circles, like the jet ski, and they had to swim so fast. We could just sit there, which was nice. So Loki conquered my fear. Haley beard on Ollie and she spilled it all over him and he stank. Okay. Oh. He's soaking he wet. Oh He's gonna jump off the boat. You, Ollie. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Where's a couple holder around here? I just can't believe Haley would spill beer. <laughs> And I just think it's really rude that she would do that. And I don't know how to confront her about it, so stay tuned. 24 carats at 100 I got a big issue with everybody talking about my chain. All right, I get here, I show up, everyone's talking about, oh, what are you doing with this chain on? What are you doing with this chain? This is a 24 carat, $150,000 chain. People are telling me, oh, it's fake. It's, a it's not fake. Paul Pierce gave me this chain. Taylor's chain is completely fake. So I saw Taylor's text from his aunt saying that the pawn shop is on to him. And it's because Camilla just bought herself a car. Taylor used it to rob a pawn shop. And I don't know if I should it's, tell Camilla. It's not fair to Camilla. No, he's committing a crime. Crime. Against, against Camilla. Camilla. Mm -hmm. And Camilla shouldn't be penalized for his Penalization. No, no. I just move like that. <laughs> do you make a lot of fires? No. I feel like this is something you should know how to do, you know? So last night, I'm like, I need to learn how to make fire. Teo's like, oh, I'll make the fire. He shows me how to make the fire. We have a time. I say, you're my fire guy. I'll take Teo's the fire guy. Teo was there. Teo built that from the ground up and he was tending it all night. It's tough to say because Teo started the fire last night. If he was on Survivor, like, obviously he would have won the challenge. Who started the fire? This is my point. I started the fire. We didn't start the fire. I started the fire. Later, Tyler walks in and goes, well, I'm the fire guy. And I go, you know what? Prove it. Tyler did come in, help the fire many times and get it blazing again. Tyler the whole night, I'm the fire guy, I'm the fire guy. All he does is throw a log. Stack puts two logs in the fire. Oh, all of a sudden he's the fire guy. He's the fire guy. It's hard to say who's the fire guy. At this point, I think the boys have settled it themselves. There's a big thing going on with the group. Who's the guy that's gonna step up? Who's gonna be the guy setting up the fire? Who's gonna be the guy on the grill, driving the boat, reffing the games, making sure things orderly, you know, it's overblown. Overblown. I walked over to the fire. It was all on one side. I come over, I fix the fire. Everybody, oh my God, oh my God, Tyler, you fixed the fire. He didn't do shit. I'm just waiting in the shadows like a shark. Bona, bona, 
Oh, Reader walks over. Oh, Reader, are you the fire guy? No, the fire guy has been there the whole time. It's me. People can't even make fire with their regular hands. And here I am, roasting a marshmallow off my toes. Jeff, you Yummy. Last night, we're out by the fire. Sophie K asks, what's your song that you would have sex to? We go around. Alex says, the Lumineers specifically, any songs from the original album? And then wouldn't stop playing. Oh, let me hear it. Can a man hold another man's stick? So this morning I was feeling left out, unloved for multiple reasons. One of those being that my dog slept in a bed with me and Carrie last night and decided to sleep with Carrie the whole night. Yeah, I slept really well last night. The bed was super comfy. I had Ollie next to me the entire night and it was so sweet. Usually he's obsessed with Haley. He's like loving you today. Wait, I thought he was loving me. He like, loves you too. It was me and Haley in a bed together and he chose me, which I thought was really special. He's so freaking cute. He's so freaking cute. There was one point I woke up in the middle of the night, as one does, just kind of rolling around, and I was like, is Oliver even with us anymore? Is he even in the space with us anymore in this bed? He was, just not touching me. Haley kept like looking for him in the bed. She's like, oh crap, where did Ollie go? And then realized <laughs> he was with me. I don't know who Carrie kind of thinks she is, just taking my dog from me like it's her own. I'm not a fan. Oh, now you care about me, huh? And then to top it all off, after I'm dealing with that this morning, I was just ordering coffee today for Mary Lou's. My order's ready. I say, hello, excuse me, my order's ready, and completely ignored. No one was responding, and I didn't hear Haley say anything, so I don't know why she was getting mad. What does everyone want from Mary Lou's? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, What's that about? First my dog, not my friend. This morning, I did move forward with playing Die at 9.30 a.m. because there was only four of us here. Three, three men at that. And if I decided to say no, I would be holding them back from playing die. Do I love playing die anyways? Of course I do. So I wasn't too upset about it. The only thing that upset me was the fact that I did have to drink the beer at 9.30 a.m. That's something I'm still dealing with right now at 6.30 p.m. is the fact that I started at 9.30 a.m. Great oh. win, great win. That's a lie. <laughs> great win. I don't wanna judge this. Then I am. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's because Alex is a bitch. Say, so, do you want to go talk for a second? Yeah, let's go chat. So something happened going yesterday. On. I was talking to Sophie Chase and she was like, I can't eat Clementines. Yeah, I can't eat that. And I was like, I can't eat any fruit at all. I don't know if she can. I think she's allergic. I gotta tell you guys, Sophie Chase is a fuck of watermelon. Why do I think that? Because yeah. I was like, yo, do you want some watermelon? She was like, She spit no. in your face. She did do that. <laughs> so, do you want some watermelon? No, oh, I'm all set. Can we go for chat? I know, like, this is probably gonna be sensitive for you, so it's probably best if you're holding it. Yeah, let's just try this. And then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this kiss? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. No. Are you gonna tell Dove? No. having a chat, having some bad is potty walks over. I don't even know if it's a potty. But I can't be bothered, mate. As far as me being a pothead, not entirely sure where that came from. Right, so I'm sitting with me lads and we're having a chat and all of a sudden this bird walks over and she's wearing this shirt and their shirt says the goods. The goods is a place where you're going to get weed. You're smoking, you're, you're puffing on the jar. And all of a sudden I say, oh, there's this big pothead. This pothead is walking over. She said, I'm not a pothead. There's no weed. There's no weed. There's no reefer. We're not smoking. Haley's a pothead. Haley's a pothead. Was not a part of the group that participated last night. Haven't done anything yet today. He used to say it was gonna happen. We're all having a laugh and she's saying, oh, I'm not, I'm not smoking, I'm not a pothead, I'm not a pothead. I don't know what exactly I did to be deemed a pothead at the time that I was deemed a pothead. If you're saying you're not a pothead, why you got a shirt on that says the goods? For me, it's telling me you're lying. We can't believe what you're saying. I don't know, I, I tell you what, I can't be bothered. It's absolutely mad. It is a pothead, it is a pothead. she don't even know. <laughs> Completely unaware. It's bullshit that they're playing die before the tournament in their team. I mean, it's a level of desperation that you just... Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> pathetic, actually. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I personally hey, wouldn't get caught doing oh, that, but... Uh, oh, you know what I'm talking about? Number. 
So it's crazy because on Friday we were like, we'll not play with our dyed partners for the tourney prior to the tourney beginning. The group as a whole was under the impression that we could not practice with our partners because that gives you an unfair advantage when you're gonna be playing in the tournament. I went out for a kayak ride this morning and when I pulled in, I could hear the sound of the die hitting the plywood. So immediately I knew there was a die game going on. So I thought all rules were gone. We randomized the teams and everything so that there's no predetermined relationships or chemistry. And before the tourney, I played a game with my future tournament partner against another tournament duo. What's wrong with that? Basically two teams, I'm not gonna name names, I'm not gonna say who it was. Alex Pohl and Danielle. Dev, Carrie, they decided to play a game before. Embarrassing. Immediately, there's a red flag going on in my head. For me, it seems desperate. So disrespectful and rude. I'm gonna say one thing, not fair. Unfair advantage, that's it. You care that much, you need to try that hard. Trying to play a game of die, everybody calls it a scandal. I'm just trying to toss cute. Leave me alone. If either of them win, I think we should account for their practice time that they got before. Me and my partner, Tyler did not do any pre-tourney practice and we're going into it like true adults. Me and Tay, chemistry unlocked before it even started. My team didn't play ahead of time. And I'm looking at Dev and I'm saying, listen, bro, you got your shoes on to have an advantage for FIFA's. If you're gonna do that, you'll find me with my shoes on as well, with me trainers on. Something I will say about Teo needing to put on his shoes to have it be fair for the die tournament is that maybe the one time in my life I'll ever agree with Teo is about rules of die. If the other team has someone with shoes on, I'm gonna go ahead and say, put those damn shoes on. They're gonna FIFA, you're gonna wanna be able to FIFA just as well as the opposing team. I'm not having that at all, man. It's bollocks. I'm just having a chat over here. It's not none of your business, mate. Mine's just like deep Anyone want to try this? Sweet treat. Oh, me. Uh, it around. No, it's okay. What? Okay, I guess I'll try this. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> it was a kid's drink. So was I expecting to like be a huge fan because I don't have the same palate as I did when I was a kid? No. But did I try it anyway after refusing once? Yes, I did. Oh, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. So as a kid, I would go to Mary Lou's and we would get Mary Lou's creamsicles or you can get the cotton candy flavor. Rosie had this drink, orange creamsicle drink. It was delicious in my opinion, but she was passing it around. And I'm like, hey, everyone should try this. Like it's a family heirloom. Like you should try this. Teo's about to suck that whole thing down. One sip. And Teo goes in on my straw. Teo just comes out and starts munching on the straw. Disgusting, classless. <laughs> Actually, it tastes like fucking the Flintstone <laughs> vitamin in a bad well, kids way. Kids love Flintstone vitamins, and it's a kid's drink. In a bad way, in a bad way. I tried to sip of Rosie's drink, which she was hyping up, hyping up. She's from Massachusetts. It's so delicious. It's this orange sherbet, Flintstone vitamin. Did I like it? Not really. Not really. I guess they were probably just upset because Teo had really gotten in on my straw, and that's why Tay and Haley made a weird face because like the taste is good, so. It had to have been the licking. Regardless of maybe my face afterwards, it's nothing against Rosie and everything against my taste palette. pre turny sitting there together as a whole group. Alex just starts singing the national anthem and we all go, come on, why not? Something you might not know about is that oh. Tayo was a little upset when we were singing the national anthem because you took the high note and it was kind of taking the attention from the group. <laughs> I think my voice is just really squeaky, as you can probably tell. I'm actually gonna hit the high note every time. And that's not my fault, that's just my genes. Me and Tyler were the finalists in the last friendship die tourney we did. We were on different teams, but both made it to the finals. In this friendship tourney, we are together. So in my head, it's a shoe win, but we came into this game and lost. I don't wanna say that there was any cheating, but back to the pre tourney scandal, we played against one of the teams that was practicing pre tourney Every time I do it. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't do that, Rose. Dev, sorry. You just tripped me like a banana. Haley? Yeah. Where are you? Well, you should try it once because we're gonna have to pop them in that way. 
yeah, I just really love me and Ali's relationship. It feels really special right now and nothing can take that away. No. bar now We're and I asked what drinks they have and they said they didn't know. That was weird too. <laughs> Crazy photo. <laughs> Alex, what the fuck? Alex took an awful fucking picture of me and decided to send it in the group chat kind of out for everyone to see. What the fuck? You know I would never do that to you. Why would you do that? What did you gain? Truly, Alex. What are you doing back there? Always first swim as a shark. Always first swim. And I'm not wearing him. He's almost better without it, honestly. I feel like it's sinking him. I was kind of watching Josh earlier today on the boat and he seemed a little bit left out. All the guys were playing football on the lake and he wasn't playing. I don't know if that was a personal choice or if he was left out from the group, but kind of feeling for Josh right now. Are you telling shit about our practice? I Are you telling shit one more time? I'm gonna break it down. Break it down, then break it down. <laughs> Fuck Ollie. Nah, that's- If you say that over a time, I'm gonna break it down. No, you won't. Fuck Ollie. Yup, <laughs> yup. Shit worm. I'd like to congratulate <laughs> the winning team. After not a single loss, Dan and Alex took it home. The first annual Plymouth Die Tourney winners, Dan and Alex. The only reason that we won is that I learned how to be the right level of drunk while I play die. It's true, we'd like to shout out Bud Light. Second place, Hurts, we were so close, almost had it. One hell of a final against a great team. We had a good comeback, yeah. that's all you can ask. The fight and the heart were there. Yep. I think we had a well-deserved third place finish. I got carried by Carrie. I love getting carried. Carried, carried by you're getting Carrie. carried. Get it? Because you're carrying. I didn't even mean it. He's getting carried. And that's a third place finish. I just think I'm gonna pissed throw? because <laughs> we would have won. And we have won in my head three times. Three out of three. So. You know, we gave it our best ever. We played three hard fought games out there. It just wasn't our day. Me and Sophie and Chase absolutely came out of the woodwork with shit game first game. We were not warmed up. We were not doing our best. Sophie! Get out! But guess what? We came back. Guys, sorry, you're just talking really loud. Second game we absolutely came back all right wrap it up Shut up! oh my god me and sophie got, came in last place but guess what who really gives a fuck <laughs> We got problems. Sophie K, ridiculous. She can't hold herself down. Look at her over there. Look at her running away from her freaking felonies. Look at her running away from her obligations to the country. Tax fraud? Classless. Tax fraud? You Classless. Know who, you know who didn't? Us. No. <laughs> Sophie, I just have a rumor that I don't know if you want to clear it up. Sophie, Kurgel, did you commit tax fraud in 2023 season? I, Sophie Kurgel, did not commit tax fraud in the 2023 season. I claimed everything <laughs> on my taxes. I, Sophie Kurgel, used um, TurboTax to file my taxes. Oh my god! Stop! 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 Stop!
go pick him on the bachelorette. <laughs> yeah. Who did Ollie sleep with last night? I hear he's sleeping around. Yeah, um, he picked Gary again. So, I'm still dealing with that right now, and I don't know if breakfast is going to be offered or not, but we did that. At least look at her, Ollie. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Maybe we'll do it another time. And if you liked it, then like it. If you want to say something that's nice, feel free to comment it. But besides that, goodbye.